Good evening. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again, class. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> no, well, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> almost, yeah. almost, right? Almost. Uh, Natalie, hello. Uh, tomorrow I will send you the presentation, Natalie. Le debo la presentación, Natalie. No pude ahora, pero mañana vamos a enviársela, ¿ok? Bye, está bien, teacher, no se preocupe. Right. Oh, más noche, más noche. Tal vez vamos a ver si... Hacemos espacio. Eh, y los videos también, dice, por favor, que se me borra todo. Ah, los videos sí están en la plataforma, Natalie. No, los lo que usted mandaba para practicar. Ah, no, no, esos son los PowerPoint. ¿Sí? Ah, va. Entonces, sí, 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 porque ¿eh? lo, los videos son en las clases, ¿va? Entonces. Ah, ya, le, ya me acordé, sí. Los videos. Y las canciones que mandaba sí, claro, o algún okay. ejemplo. <risa> Gracias. Sí, está bien. Ok. Good. Ya, ya le capté. Ok, class, let's begin. We're going to start with the, with the platform. We are going to see the video that we didn't see uh, completely yesterday. Este no lo vimos completo, so we're going to, to watch the video again, right? Count and Hi, count. Everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically, anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our 
our next question do we need any bread we could also say do we need some bread however when responding to these type of questions we can only use some when responding positively in our example we can see how the question do we need any eggs is answered by saying yes let's get some eggs and the question do we need any bread is answered positively by saying yes let's get some bread finally we can only use any when responding negatively so as we can see on both of the questions display no we don't need any eggs now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own okay class so basically is uh, the use of some and any right in countable and non-countable nouns any and some are for questions some is for affirmative uh, any is for negative right and we can use both uh, any and some with countable like eggs right sandwiches and with non-count it's bread lemonade for example right okay and um yesterday we complete the exercise but now we're going to see some material some material related with um with this right related to count and non-count nouns and and related to to food right so here we have this uh picture right of food and it says food for good health eat a lot of grains vegetables and fruit if some dairy you know lactose meat and other protein right and eat a little fat grasa right and oils a little right if you do that you're going to be strong and with a mustache like me look okay very good and uh, let's listen to the audio unit nine do we need any eggs page 58 exercise one word power foods part a food guidelines for good health eat a lot of grains vegetables and fruit eat some dairy meat and other protein eat a little fat and oils listen and practice fruit apples blueberries lemons oranges bananas kiwis vegetables lettuce carrots broccoli tomatoes potatoes onions grains rice pasta crackers noodles bread cereal dairy cheese milk yogurt fats and oils butter cream oil meat and other proteins chicken fish eggs beef nuts beans okay uh we're going to make a practice with this um you know vocabulary but before to that i will take the attendance so let me see um sophia present okay welcome sophia uh daniela Ms. Villanova. Okay. Um, Ingrid Jamilet.
Vanessa García. Present. Welcome, Vanessa. Jenny Margarita Maeda. Present. Welcome. Welcome, Jenny. Um, Angie. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, David Madrid. Present, teacher. You. Juan Francisco. Catherine Giselle. Present teacher. Kenya. Present teacher. Lilian Sarai. Luis Ernesto. Luis. Present, present teacher. Okay, welcome. Margarita. Mirna. Present. Okay, thank you. Natalie. Natalie. Acabo de ver a Natalie por ahí. Quizás se le fue la señal. Bueno, le voy a poner asistencia porque ya la vi, Natalie. Ok. Um, Oscar Francisco. Ah, ok. Se me olvidó la señal. Ok, no problem. Eh, Oscar Francisco. Saúl. Vanessa, Alejandra. Miss Méndez Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Eh, Lorena. Present teacher. Welcome, Lorena. Majo. Present. Okay, good. Now we're going to make some uh, sentences, right? You're going to tell me about uh, fruits, vegetables, uh, meat, and other proteins like egg or beans, right? Some grains, right? Oil and dairy that is lactose, right? So you tell me, I like and I don't like, right? I like, for example, in my case, I like oranges. I like... Uh, Carrots. I don't like broccoli. Mm -hmm. I like eggs, chicken, meat, fish. Yes. Uh, I don't like. I don't like what? I don't like oil. I guess. I suppose. Okay. So, uh, Sophia, please give me some examples. I like and I don't like, Sophia. I like bananas. Mm -hmm. and, and apple. Okay. And I like I like chicken. Pio pio. Mm -hmm. And rice. And rice. Oliva. And what about things that you don't like, Sophia? I don't like. Uh, I don't like broccoli. Oh, no. <laughs> and okay. blueberry. Okay, nice. Thank you. Uh, what about you, mm, Daniela? Give me. I like and I don't like, Daniela. Um, I like uh, bananas. Mm -hmm. I like um, broccoli. Oh. Broccoli. <laughs> broccoli. Um, I like um, kiwis. Kiwi. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. Like... I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like. What? Um, chicken. Um, oh. no. mm -hmm. And rice. You don't rice. like rice. Rice, right? Yes. You don't no. like rice. No. Do you? Do you like onions? Mm. Uh, do you like onions? Onions. Eh, 
es sí. Yes. 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 I like onions. <laughs> okay. Good. I remember a long time ago there were some hamburgers. The name was Keko Burger. I used to eat a lot of Keko Burger because they use a lot of um how do you say uh, cebolla? Cebolla, what is it? Um Um, yes, yeah, something Caramelizada. like that. Caramelizada. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was delicious, right? Okay, good. And to finish, Eva, please. Uh, no, Eva is not today, right? Eva? No, okay. So, um, Vanessa, please. Vanessa Garcia. I am. Okay, Vanessa, what thing do you like? Uh, what do you like? Mm -hmm. What do you like? <laughs> okay, uh, I like um, green apple. Oh. Uh, I like bananas. And I like yogurt. Yogurt? Mm -hmm. Yogurt. Uh, I like... Um, Cheese? Cheese. Especially with pupusa, I, right? Mm -hmm. uh, very delicious. delicious. Uh, I don't like um, um, onion. Oh. I don't like fish. Oh. <laughs> yes. Sorry. I don't. I don't like uh, mm, apple or red apple. Red apples, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you very much, right? Let's continue. Good. And here we have the use of count and all count nouns. Listen, please. Page 59, exercise 3, grammar focus. Count and non-count nouns. Some and any. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lettuce. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Okay, so look, when we say singular, we say an egg, right? But here, because we're using some and any, we have to say some eggs, any eggs, right? The same happened with sandwich. We can say a sandwich. But here we have to say sandwiches, right? Okay. And never say uh, some egg or any egg because egg is singular, okay? Or don't say any sandwich. No, you have to say any sandwiches or some sandwiches. Any eggs some, or some eggs. Uh, in the other way around, we have uh, bread and lettuce that they are non-count. So we can say some bread and some uh, lettuce. Any bread or any lettuce, right? Okay, and we can use some and any in questions. Here we don't have an example of using some, but you know, it's possible. And we have uh, some, right, in, in uh, affirmative, and we have any in negative, right? Luis, your question, Luis? Sí, hola, buenas noches. Eh, teacher, una pregunta sí. en lo de lo que es contable, veo de que se le ha agregado la S, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que ya lo hace plural. Ajá, la e, yeah. Bueno, la E y la S. Pero en lo que es no contable, no aparece, digamos, no podemos decir panes, no, no, eh, no. lechugas. Le, Ajá, lechugas. Panes, lechugas. No. Ajá. Ah, Water, okay. Waters, waters, lettuces, breades. <risa> Aguas. No. Ah, Ajá. ah, ok. No, no, no es no ah. posible. O oh, we cannot ah, say okay. eh, atoles in English. <laughs> It's not possible. Ah, en, entiendo. En español, mar... sí, sí. 
No, en Spanish, uh -huh. yes, yes, in Spanish. Ah, sí. so, ah, okay. Always, or if you use a container, for example, you can say two glasses of water, dos vasos de agua, right? Two cups mm -hmm. of coffee, dos tazas de café. Yeah, it's acceptable. Or two boxes of uh, pasta, for example, right? Dos cajas de, de pasta. Ah, okay. ¿no? Yes, but, but you cannot say a pasta or, or pasta says. <laughs> no, no, it's no control, right? No control. Eh, gramaticalmente. Yeah. Uh -huh. eh, perdón, teacher, gramaticalmente no vamos a encontrar en ningún lado lechuz, lechuzes. No, 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 no. No, ah, no, ok. No, no, no. Ah, entiendo. Ah, ok. But sí, gracias. Case. Luis, there is a special case with chicken, for example, right? For example, the, the animals, the animals that are walking over there, right? You can say, ah, three chickens, four chickens. But when they change, ah, okay. change into food, even it's entire, completely, right? Complete, aunque está entero el pollo, right? Pero si es comida, no conto. No ah, ok. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. Anytime. Anytime. Ok, we have one exercise. Look. Teacher, oh, question. Or... Yes, yes, David. Eh, en la cuestión de inglés, any es, se, se escucharía un poco más fuerte que, que some? No, no, no. It's the same. It's the same. The same, but uh, maybe with questions, right? With questions, possibly. But but no, uh, the 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 topic of that something is soft or strong or, or not polite, right? Mm -hmm. uh, is related to to models, auxiliaries that are models. You know, like can, could, should, right? For example, can is a strong. Is is not polite. When you say, can I go to the bathroom? Mm, no, no, no. It's it's, it's good. But, but it's not, okay. it's not polite. But if you say, should I, may I go to the bathroom? Could I go to the bathroom? Okay, it's more, you know, it's soft. It's more polite, it's right? Okay. But, but in this case, any and, and, and some, no, no. That's not the point. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. Thanks. Now let's go, anytime. Uh, let's go to the... Let's go to the use of any and some. I have a message here. Let me see. Uh, okay, that's okay, Saul. Uh, ahorita le tomo la asistencia, Saul. Cuando llega a casa, me avisa. Okay, good. Thank you. Voy a pasar otra lista. No voy a hacer que alguien no me haya escuchado. Eh, Eva. No sé si fue mi, mi, mi imaginación, pero me pareció ver a Eva. Sí, ¿verdad? Que está al principio. No, no la vieron ustedes. Bueno. Ingrid Yamilet. Eh, Juan Francisco. Lilian Saraí. Margarita. Oscar Francisco. Present teacher. <risa> ah, más vale tarde que nunca, ¿verdad, Oscar? <risa> sí. Ok, good. Welcome, welcome. Ahí, ahí le aparecía ahí. En, el, en el mensaje, había una compañera que estaba diciendo ah, okay. presente. Eh, Saraí, ah, yes, thank you. Eh, Saraí, fíjense que en, el, en los minutos contables en la plataforma parece que, que usted está en clase, pero cuando yo pregunto presente, eh, siempre mándame un mensaje para que yo le tome la asistencia. Oiga, Saraí. Ok, please. Uh, let me see. That's it, right? Okay, thank you. All the time, send the message. Si no le sirve el micrófono o algo, pues ahí estamos. Okay. Okay, let's go to some and any, right? Some and any. So, permítame que hay un micrófono por ahí. Okay, good. Uh, well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make... Some or any. Uh, let me see. According to the list, we have um, some. We have Jenny. No, 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 no. Vanessa. No. Yes, Jenny. Jenny Margarita, please. Jenny, some or any. Jenny. Okay, 
Le me si trae el micrófono. No sé si es el de Jenny. Bueno, entonces, eh, Angie, please. Some or any, Angie? Some. Some, okay, thank you. Some, right? Good. And mayonnaise. Do we have, do we have, um, please, David? Any. Any, right? Any is more appropriate. Okay, podemos usar some, pero cuando estamos ofreciendo algo, ¿sí? Yeah. Okay. Good. Adam said, no, we need to buy, uh, please, Mm, Catherine, we need to buy some or do we need to buy we need to buy any. Catherine, um, uh huh. Remember, some or the, any? The, remember the point. The point. Ah, okay. Uh huh. What do you think, Catherine? It's just it any, right? Mm. But any is for negative, right? This sentence is affirmative or negative, Catherine? Cathy? It's negative. Mm, yeah. Okay, give me a second. We say, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we don't. Period, right? Like, like, like David said, que hay un punto. Ok, y después del punto viene la oración. O sea, ya dijimos que no, ¿verdad? Pero ahora decimos, necesitamos comprar algo. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? So, is some or any? En este caso sería some. Excelentoso. Yes, some. Porque ya está un punto. Después del punto, lo que viene ya es otra cosa, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Now, thank you, Kathy. And now, Kenya, please. We need some. We need some onions, some. too. We need some onions, right? It's algo obligado en la lista de, de compra de Shrek. Okay. I don't want. Uh, Luis. I don't want what? Some or any onions? Uh, any. Any, right? There we go. Then let's get Mirna. Some or any celery? Let's get some celery. Some celery. Mirna, how do you say celery in Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> Apio. Apio, okay. Apio. Yo apio los mangos. Ah, no es otra cosa, perdón. Okay, then Adam. Eh, Natalie, please, Natalie. Say, uh, uh, no, any. I don't I don't want any. Okay, thank you. I don't want any. Thank you. Any. But let's put some, uh, Oscar, some or any? Any. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. Is well, let's, apple. Some or any. Uh -huh, apples. Apples. Pero que dice que lo va a poner, no? Mm -hmm. Let's put. But the, the question here. Yes, but, but listen, we can use some and any for countable, right? And no countable. But in this case, we, we use any for negative and we use some for affirmative. Now, Oscar, uh, this sentence some. is affirmative. Oh, okay. Or negative. Oh, okay. This is some, yeah. right? Yeah. So in this context, in this context is affirmative, uh, some. Oh, okay. And, 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 negative. and negative any. That's correct. That's totally correct. Hey. Thank okay, thank you. Now, repeat us to me, please. Repeat us to me. The store doesn't have any potato salad. They, 
No, everybody, everybody, please. Everybody. You too, Oscar. Usted también, pero solo que con el micrófono apagado, okay? Please, everybody, repeat after me. Come on. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? No, we need, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? Yeah, that sounds awful. That sounds awful. Teacher. Oh, yeah? What meaning awful? Odioso. Cae mal, right? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, feo. Okay, como Kirian Mbappé, right? Cae mal, you know. Okay. Good. Thank you. Now, uh, I need two volunteers. Let me see. Vanessa, Alejandra, and Lorena. Uh -huh, Natalie, question? No, no, teacher, okay. Okay, Natalie, usted me va a participar con Majo y Lorena okay. con Vanessa, con Vanessa Alejandra, okay? okay. So, Lorena, you're Amanda, and Vanessa, you're okay. Adam, right? Ready? One, right. two, oh, no, wait, wait a minute. One, two, three, action. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I had onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Let's put some apples in it. Uh, apples in the potato salad. That apple? sounds awful. <laughs> apples in the potato salad. That sounds awful. That sounds awful, right? Awful. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Also, come on. Thank you very much. Good pronunciation, right? Uh, only this is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. You know that mayonnaise is oil? ¿Sabían ustedes que el 95% del ingrediente de mayonesa es aceite? Incredible, right? And it. And eggs, right? David? Incredible. Yes. Okay, good. Now, uh, Maho, please, you are Amanda. And Natalie, you are Adam, right? Okay. One, two, three, action. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in potato salad. But let's put some apples in. 
Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Okay. Yeah, right. Good. Thank you. Like, uh, I don't know if you're from San Miguel, but, you know, ketchup in the in pupusas. Mm. Well, in San Miguel, it's, for, for them, it's delicious. But for me, it doesn't sound good. Or, or, or chuco dulce, right? El chuco dulce. Eh? Okay. Anyway. Para gusto los colores, right? Good. Now, let's go to the class today. Ahora sí vamos a la clase de este día, right? Let's start with the presentation here, right? Sorry. Here we have the presentation. Okay. What do you have for breakfast? And conversation. Peace for breakfast. Okay. So today is December the 13th, and I have a question for you. Uh, what is the meaning of breakfast? Desayuno. Uh, and what is the meaning of desayuno? What is the meaning of desayuno, right? I will copy Is that you. you eat in the morning? Uh-huh, but look, desayuno, right? Des armar, desarmar, es componer, deshacer, quitar el ayuno. So in this case, desayuno es ir en contra del ayuno. ¿Mm? Armar, ir en contra del armar, que es desarmar, es desarmar. So la palabra des es contra el ayuno. Usted pasó toda la noche durmiendo, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿qué pasa? A la hora de comer, rompe el ayuno en la mañana. Entonces, es el, el desayuno, ¿ok? Ahora, ¿qué? Breakfast. Breakfast es quebrar. How do you say fast? Como nombre, no como adjetivo, como nombre. ¿Qué es fast? Rápido. Fast. No, como adjetivo es rápido, sí, pero como nombre. Gracias. Como nombre es ayuno. Ayuno. ¿Cómo decimos ayuno en inglés? Fast. Entonces, quebrar el ayuno es break fast. ¿Es como un refrigerio? No, 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 no. El refrigerio en inglés decimos snack. snack. Oh, okay. Pero aquí es quebrar, quebrar el ayuno, porque usted está comiendo y quebrando el ayuno que pasó toda la noche usted durmiendo, a menos que se, se levante a la una de la madrugada la refri. <ríe> Okay, de que los hay, los hay, ¿verdad, David? Okay, good. Es como Now, la palabra negocio, negar uh -huh. el ocio. Ah, interesante, interesting. Como la palabra ojalá, que sí. quiere decir ojalá. que primeramente alá, que esto suceda. Yeah. O sea, que cuando usted dice ojalá, está invocando al Dios de los musulmanes. Alá. Yeah. Acuérdese También. que la J, la J es influencia eh, árabe. árabe en el idioma español. Correcto, es correcto. Y la H cuando, también. Cuando invadieron los árabes, ¿verdad? El pues, sur de, de España. Correcto. Y también la palabra reloj. Bueno, aquí vamos a pasar toda la noche hablando de palabritas. Mejor vámonos a la clase. Objective, please. Eh, Jenny, can you read the objective for tonight? It's very... By the end of this class, you will learn how to use it, adverbs of frequency when talking about the food. Thank you very much. Now here we have some, some adverbs of frequency. Look, always is 100% all the time. Usually that is like 80%, you know, often that is like 60%, sometimes like it's 40, 80%. Rarely, that is like 10%, and never, that is 0%, right? And we always put the adverb between the noun and the verb. So we say, she always runs. Lorena always eats pupusas, right? Uh, Davey always uh, practices English, right? Mm -hmm. So between the, yes. Yes or no, David? So between, yes. okay, good. Between the noun 
en the verb we are going to use the adverb. Recuerden que siempre entre el sujeto y el verbo vamos a poner el adverb, ¿verdad? Hay una excepción con sometimes, que lo podemos poner al principio, pero en general, pues, es así, entre el sujeto y el verbo, ¿ok? Example, I always wash the dishes. It's true in my case, you know. She usually cleans the house. He often does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. Algunas veces ellos sacan la basura, right? We rarely go shopping. Así como están de cara las cosas, we rarely go shopping, right? Yeah. And we never dust. Nunca limpiamos el polvo. We never dust. You never dust, right? Okay? Then, uh, talking about this, remember what I said. Between the subject and the verb, we have in the middle the the um, other or frequency, right? Okay, yeah. let's see. Let's see, please. Uh, the sentence, he checks never email in the evening, is correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect, right? Thank you very much. The sentence is incorrect. So, and what is the correct sentence, Sophia? Sofía? Eh, listen of stuff? Mm, no, number one. Oh. He? He? Uh -huh. He never. Uh -huh. checked, he never. Excellent. He never yeah. check in the email in the. In the evening. In the evening. Thank evening, you very much. Evening. Thank you very much. Perfect. That's it, right? Now, Daniela, please, number two. Correct or incorrect? Daniela? We really need correct. Correct, right? Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Number three, please. Uh, Jacqueline Vanessa. Garcia, Vanessa. Hello. Number three, they listen often to music in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Uh, they listen often to uh, correct. Okay. Correct. Let me see. They listen often. Mm. Uh. Incorrect. <laughs> it's incorrect. Yes. Because yeah. they listen. Okay. What is the correct sentence? Uh, uh, always. No, no, no. They. They listen. Of... No, no. They. Ah, they often uh -huh. they they often listen to music, right? Thank you, thank you very much. Now, uh, Jenny, please, number four. She goes sometimes to parties on Friday evening. Correct or incorrect? She goes sometimes to parties. Um, correct. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. Sometimes is the other, right? So remember the rule. The other is always between the subject and the verb. She... Incorrect. Incorrect. She... Very good. Sometimes... Goes... To party. To party. Friday. Friday evening, Friday. right? Thank you, Jenny. Thank you very much. Uh, Angie, please, number five. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 
Incorrect. What is the correct sentence, please, Angie? Is um, Oscar and his wife uh, always uh, go dancing. Very good. Number six, please. Mm, Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. A number five is only go or is go to dancing? Go dancing. Go to dancing, no. Okay, when, when you say, for example, I will copy here for you. Give me a second. When you say, I go to the park, right? You go to one specific place. I go to the mall, for example, right? But when you talk about activities, say, I go dancing, she goes swimming, they go uh, running. So you, you don't have to use go to or go to there. No, 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 only go and then running. Go swimming, go dancing, right? Okay, good, now let's continue. Let me see, I'm gonna erase this, oopsie. Okay, so let's continue with number uh, six. Number six, who's next in the list is um, David, right? David, can you help me with number six, please? It's correct. It's correct, okie dokie. Yes. So sí. lo que en esta también se podría hacer eh, lo contrario, como usted dice. Sometimes I take... take. Mm, it's the exception of the rule. Yes, you're totally right. Okay. And Thank number, you. And number seven. Number seven? Eight, uh -huh. Six, eh, five. Uh -huh. Okay. Seven is for uh, Katy, please. Can you help me, Katy? My friends play usually soccer on Sunday. Correct or incorrect? Katy? Um, correct. Mm. My friend. Remember, the adverb is between the subject and the verb, right? Um, incorrect. Incorrect. What is the correct sentence? Uh, usually. My friends. Uh, my friends. My friends. Uh, place usually. Mm, no, 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 no. Okay, look at this. Por eso les decía en la clase de ayer que si usted sabe reconocer el sujeto y el verbo en una oración, el 90% de la oración ya la hizo. Pues. Lo demás ya es para abajo, ¿sí? Entonces, eh, aquí necesito, eh, uh, Katy, que me reconozca el sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto en esta oración? Uh, my friends. My friends. Ahora, ¿cuál es el verbo? ¿Cuál es la acción? Uh, play. Play. Entonces, el adverbio de frecuencia lo va a poner ahí en medio de esos dos. ¿Sí? En medio uh, del sujeto. Friends, el verbo. Usually plays. Excelentoso. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Ok. Kenya, please. The number eight, please. Correct o incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect, right? Give me a second here. Okay, good. The correct sentences is, we always exercise in the morning. Correct. Very good. Now, eh, tenían otros ejercicios por acá, pero pues no lo vamos a hacer por falta de tiempo, como siempre. El tiempo siempre nos come. Eh, pero se lo voy a enviar. Eh, el, la presentación esta se la voy a enviar y ustedes lo, lo miren aquí está un ejercicio bien bonito ¿ves? es de ir ordenando sí ¿Ve? y aquí está otro que aquí solo de también ir ordenando verdad y poner el adverbio ahí en medio del sujeto y el, y el... háganlo en su casita por favor se lo voy a enviar para que ustedes practiquen eh, por por cierto el video de ahora no se los envié de gramática el video de ahora pero se lo voy a enviar mañana con el de con el de listening, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a la plataforma y vamos a ver estos videos relativos a los adverbios de frecuencia, ¿ok? 
pero antes vamos a ver un video de una conversación. Listen, please. You have for breakfast. The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Ah, perdón, antes que se me olvide, eh, perdón que interrumpa el video. Eh, quiero felicitar a todos los que han hecho sus comentarios. Gracias, ahí veo muchos comentarios, así que le agradezco muchísimo. Thank you very much. No crean que no los leo, lo que pasa es que no nos queda tiempo de estar leyendo. Come on. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, in the conversation, they're using frequency abra, right? Okay, and uh, let's say um, my family always has. Family is the subject, has is a verb, so always goes in the middle, look. Uh, what do you have? We usually have, again, we is the subject, usually is the adverb frequency, and have is the verb, right? Sometimes we have a salad. Ah, you know, this is the exception of the rule, you know, sometimes. We can say we sometimes have or sometimes we have, right? And with the other, con los demás, sí, siempre es la misma, la misma regla. Excuse me? Okay. We always have green teas, right? And I never eat fish in El Salvador, I guess. At least you live in the beach, right? Al menos los que viven en la costa, pues... Yo creo que sí pueden comer pescado para el desayuno, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Now let's go to the next video. Let's go to the next video. And it says adverse of frequency. Los ejercicios no los vamos a hacer porque ya los hicimos, ¿verdad? Solo vamos a ver este video y terminamos la clase porque ya se nos fue el tiempo. Ah, sorry. Quisiera darles dos horas para que no alcance el tiempo, pero ni modo. Ok. You may put that at the beginning, just like you said, the adverb of frequency. So let's do just. Ah, sorry, se trabó. When. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me for the old story. Well, creo que sí. Ahí está. When talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs, and they express frequency. For example, 
If you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100%, usually equals 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, Hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how... Sorry to interrupt, but these uh, quantities are not exactly, right? Uh, it's solo un aproximado, no es que es 70% exactly. No, 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 I mean, it's kind of, right? And um, sometimes you can ask, uh, pero, teacher, ¿y son absolutamente necesarios los adverbios de frecuencia? No, no, no necessary. No, ustedes pueden decir, I eat breakfast. Lo único que hacen es explicar con qué frecuencia lo hacen. Simple y sencillamente. Para eso no sirven los adverbios de frecuencia. Okay? How to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast. With the adverb of frequency, sometimes, you may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast. Just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject. And finally, you may say the following. I eat breakfast sometimes. You can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. Which is not, not very common, lo cual no es muy común, pero sí se podría poner al final. Con sometimes. Pero no es común, es rarísimo. The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. 
after that we have the subject you then we will add ever next we will add the uh, a verb have and finally we need to add a complement fish for breakfast and we can answer this type of question in different ways for example yes I always do sometimes I do no I never do so this is like you say alguna vez comes pescado en desayuno alguna vez comes chuco con francés okay alguna vez comes pupusa de pulpo you know so then you say i always do right or sometimes i do or i never do right good class uh, thank you very much eh, mañana vamos a hacer unos pequeños ejercicios tengo otro material ahí para ustedes eh, sobre los adverbios de frecuencia y pues porque mañana solo vamos a ver un reading Así que vamos a tener tiempo para practicar más. ¿Ok? Any extra solo, 14, solo 14 vimos a hoy. Están corriendo, profe. Uh, solo 14. I don't get it. Sorry. Perdón. No, no, no entendí. El... Solo 14 personas estamos ahora conectados. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Eh, 14, correcto. Sí, es que hay tres alumnos que me pidieron permiso eh, desde ayer. Teacher, ¿qué sabe, ¿qué sabe usted? Ya tengo entendido que ya están mandando las eh, solicitudes para el próximo curso. Ya están mandando ahí para que escaneemos nuevamente los documentos y todo eso. ¿No sabe nada usted al respecto todavía? No, fíjese que no. A mí solo me avisan eh, si me van a asignar un curso en tal fecha. ¿no? Entonces, ok. Pero sí, de, de inscripciones no. Lo siento, David, no, no tengo esa información. Ok. Pero, Okay, class. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Take care. Have a nice. See you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.